Good evening. It's a bizarre twist. Tonight in a News Channel 5 exclusive, we've learned the DA once set to prosecute Holly Bobo's accused killers may now actually become a key witness for the defense. How on earth could this happen? News Channel 5's Nick Barris uncovered the latest stunning development in this high profile case. It's hard to imagine nearly a year after two men were charged with murdering Holly Bobo, there's no one to prosecute the case. In an ugly mess, the DA removed himself after a dispute with the TBI, but as I learned today, that doesn't necessarily mean he's in the clear. A staffer at District Attorney Matt Stowe's office says her boss has recused himself and will no longer answer questions about the Bobo case. But that doesn't mean defense attorneys for prime suspects Zach Adams and Jason Autry aren't asking. If he's made allegations of misconduct on behalf of the TBI vis-a-vis -vis the Bobo case, I demand to know what those allegations are specifically. Stowe called his dispute with the TBI a misunderstanding. Investigators said he accused them of misconduct in regards to the Bobo case. It's not clear what this was all in reference to, perhaps the handling of evidence, arrests, case strategy, or something else. We want to know this. We're entitled to know this. And Autry's attorney Fletcher Long says he'll subpoena the DA to get answers. I think that that makes uh, uh, District Attorney General Matt Stowe potentially uh, a witness in our case in chief in, in the event these charges come to trial. This is a little bit uh, unprecedented. But News Channel 5 legal analyst Nick Leonardo says it makes sense that defense lawyers want to learn more about the dispute between Stowe and the TBI. And it could very well be something that, uh, you know, helps their client. So imagine Stowe called to testify for the defense. He could fight the subpoena, but before any of this happens, the state must first name someone to replace Stowe on the Bobo case. Sources tell me special prosecutors are not lining up for the job. Nick Barris, News Channel 5 HD. Remember, as we first reported last week, defense attorneys also have asked the judge to dismiss all charges because prosecutors have failed to turn over discovery evidence in a timely manner. The judge will rule on that motion next week.